Welcome to State Attack. We're going to take a look at actually changing the color of our start menu and our action bars. So what we're going to do is right click on our desktop and then click on personalize. Over on the left hand side of the screen we're going to choose colors. Now over here on the right hand side of the screen are where we're going to be able to change our options. Currently automatically pick an accent color for my background is turned off. But if I turn this on it's basically going to disable all the color options and it's going to automatically select the color of my start menu based upon my background color. So now if I were to change my background, let's say to this one right here, notice that my actual start menu and everything is now green. And if I choose another background, we'll choose this one. Notice everything is now kind of an orange color. And if I choose this one, we have a lighter blue. And then choosing the actual windows one is a dark blue. And then changing it to my custom wallpaper, it leaves it with a dark blue, mainly because there's a lot of blue hues in our clothes. So you can see how that changes the colors whenever I choose to automatically pick an accent color. If I turn this off, I now have the option of actually selecting my own color. So if I were to choose red, notice everything is now in red, even the live tiles are in red. And if I choose this dark gray, notice everything is now dark gray. And what's cool is all of this updates on the fly. So even notice over here on the left hand side of the screen, the color that I happen to choose changes the menus over here, changes my start menu, changes the tiles in the start menu. So there's a lot of cool options here whenever you actually select to choose your own color. So I'll leave it on red so we can kind of see this dark contrast. Now right here, the show color on start, taskbar, action center, and title bar, that's currently on. So the start menu is in the same color. But if I click that off, notice the start menu is now kind of black, but the red over here has stayed the same. And if I click into the start menu, the red titles have stayed the same. And even these little red accents underneath the icons have remained the same. And if I come up to this top here, notice that everything in this preview now shows me what it's gonna look like whenever I have that turned off. If I turn it back on, my start menu now becomes red and you can see everything up here in this preview window shows me what it's gonna look like. Now my start taskbar and action center are currently set to be transparent. If I turn this off, you'll notice a little bit of a difference here in our start menu. And when I click on this actual start, notice there's no opacity to this. And if I turn the transparency back on, notice I can kind of see the window behind my start menu here. And the start menu down below is kind of more transparent as well. This becomes really apparent whenever you're choosing to use a different wallpaper. So if I were to choose my own, you can kind of see that my son's foot down here and even my body down here below the start menu is actually being able to be seen. And even behind the start menu itself, I can see my wallpaper. It's definitely more apparent on a wallpaper that you choose rather than this default Windows one. It's more of just a solid color down below. Whenever you choose an actual wallpaper, the transparency down below actually appears more frequently. And then there are some high contrast settings. So if you need to actually have these high contrast where everything is a little bit more apparent to you, you can go ahead and come in here. Notice everything is actually gonna be more of like a black and white and certain colors around there as well. So you can choose to have these contrasts. If you click apply, notice the whole entire system is now gone into this high contrast mode. So if you need those, you can actually come in here and enable them, but by default, they're gonna be off. And so now if I turn it off, notice my theme has now been restored to what I've already have set up. And then coming back into the actual personalization option and then colors, we can change all of our colors again. Or if you just want to leave it simple, just let everything be automatically picked based upon your background. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech and we'll see you in the next video.